so this is day number one of our, um, chron our quarantine chronicles. So we're gonna um, do a little video every single day as to where we're at. Um, we're starting with our travel back to Canada. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna do a little fun video every single day and it's, we're, gonna, we're gonna do some uh, quarantine chronicles. Today is volume number one. Yesterday, I guess, actually, we secured a Airbnb. The guy, um, him and his family seem amazing. We, they don't even um, expect payment from us until we get there, which is great because that allows us to have the money that we have now for getting home, emergencies. I don't know how long it's going to take us. I don't know, um, you know, how much it's going to cost in fuel. Like, the van is forever changing, so... Yeah. Anyways, we end are supposed to be driving to South Carolina today, so we have about 5.5 hours of driving ahead of us. We have a long day ahead of us, and it's just one of many to come. But Thank you. day one is beginning Thank now you. of our travel back to Canada to self quarantine and live in some madness. Because right now I kind of feel like I'm living in a hip with like a hippie and sunshine and palm trees and in my own little world and my trailer and my own little space and but we did get board games board game board game on board game Ellie gets mad because she's not going to wah slushy here this is just an idea of how busy things still are here cars that are still going. There's like a bus, a city transit bus. That's the traffic coming out of Walmart and Lowe's. Oh, it's Miller. Oh my god, there's so many people at Walmart.
is just an example of how many Canadians are in this parking lot right now, sleeping and on their way home. Most of them are from Quebec, but a lot of them. Back right here. See, all over, like it's just littered with Canadians. And I didn't start the camera until halfway through the park because I was like, this is a rest stop. And I didn't start it until after because I was like, this is insane the amount of, there's no parking spots left. Because it's all just Canadians trying to get home before uh, things get any crazier, right? I said, I don't know if we'll go to Walmart tonight or tomorrow. It depends on how far away it is. What do we got? We are safe 86. All right. Do you want to lead the way? Sure. Might be easier for you, eh? Yeah. Just okay. Sure we're have to back up. Oh, okay. Just give me a heads up when we're near the site and then I will uh, get off your tail. No, it stayed right on his tail. Get off your tail feather. Tail feather. So funny. Is he right here? Oh. I guess I'll find a way to uh, come around and park in the front. Yeah, I'll find a way to get this in there and get that tree. Don't hit the tree. Okay, so we've just arrived at our camp place for the night in South Carolina at the Thousand Trails here. We um, drove just for five hours, but it ended up taking like eight or nine, which is pretty usual for us. We have to stop every two hours because uh, the kids have to pee or we have to stop to eat or we have to gas up or whatever, we have two vehicles, so yes, I know. Anyways, it was an interesting drive. We saw a lot of Canadians heading back. Um, the van's doing great, so that's good. We finished all the work yesterday. Well, I say we, but obviously it was Eric. I did nothing except take care of the kids while he did the work. now we're here for the night we'll pull out tomorrow and head on our on our way we will update every day because we want to try and do something fun with our time technically our quarantine doesn't start um, our quarantine doesn't start until we ride back in Canada but we have been self distancing ourselves so this is you know quarantine chronicles day one the kids really want to have something fun to do and that's that's what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna share our journey. Oh, we're in quarantine, we're gonna make it fun. Okay, so yeah, come back tomorrow, see what day two has to bring for us in the chronicle, the quarantine chronicles. Peace out guys.